And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create this rainbow colored hexagonal background. I've tried it in a couple of different ways and I think the easiest is to create a new brush. Let us first create a background transparent for our brush. I'm going to make this black background invisible. Now create a hexagon using filters render gfig. Find the polygon right here. That's a hexagon so we'll need six sides. We want to have a fill no stroke. And I make it white as a fill. And then just left click drag. And you should see it. I want to have it in center. So let me press Ctrl Z and I drag something like this, a little bit rotated. Maybe this is a good place to start. I close it. And now I go to edit, copy, then edit, paste as a new brush. Give it a name that you can remember. I'll just use tutorial brush. Don't worry about the spacing here. We'll just keep it. Confirm we are OK. And now you can see it right here in our brush menu. If you can't find that, go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs. And there's the brushes. Shift Ctrl B. It should pop up. Now let us make our background visible again and I make this empty layer, this transparent layer, layer 1. Let me use the paintbrush and the hexagon, so our tutorial brush is selected right here. So you can just click on this little icon, find it and then confirm. Adjust the size and then simply left click and add a couple. Play around with the size from time to time. And also add a couple of overlays, so a couple of hexagons should overlay with one another. Now create a new layer, I'll call that simply 2. It's transparent once again. And then add more of these hexagons. And this is the process that I think is the best for creating this background. You add multiple layers, maybe three or four, and then add hexagons with different sizes. Let me stop at 4. And now the next step is to go down with the opacity for each layer and add a Gaussian blur. So let me do that for layer 1 first. Gaussian blur should be highest here. Let me pick 17. Then I go to layer 2. Opacity maybe 60%. Gaussian blur. Maybe like five or six. Layer three. Let me go to 70%, 75 with the opacity. And I add a small Gaussian blur, maybe one or two. That's enough. Layer four. Maybe 80 or 90% opacity. And I don't add a Gaussian blur. So that's the sharpest. We will adjust that later on. For example, we can go back to layer 3 and just add a couple of hexagons more so that we don't have this much black space here in the background. This should be alright. Let me create a new layer for gradient. I use the gradient tool and I pick a preset so you can use the same 
something colorful, maybe. Maybe this pre installed rainbow, it's linear. And I go diagonally, bottom left to top right. Activate a different tool, maybe the move tool, and then switch to overlay blending mode. And you can see the overlay for layer 4. It didn't really hit. So let me go down with the opacity a little bit more. Even for layer 2 and 3. So you can easily adjust that later on. But I think the Gaussian blur was a little bit too high for layer 1. But anyway, it is the process. You can intensify it by copying the gradients and then play around with that opacity too. So that's also possible. Once again, I think layer 1, a lower Gaussian blur would have been better. But this is the way I would create this hexagon rainbow background in game. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.